He's a rapper who's still relevant after 15 years in the game with over 4 million followers online and recently launched a fashion line and is about to launch a line of wrap snacks potato chips with his face on the bag. Might seem random, but it's all branches off the tree, he says. The fabulous brand has an estimated worth of $20 million. So how does he keep growing his brand? He knows his fans and stays true to his deep Brooklyn roots. Kelsey Humphrey sat down with this very talented entrepreneur. One of the things you do really well is social media. You have mm -hmm. like almost 5 million Instagram, over a million on Twitter, uh, over 3 million on Facebook, so mm -hmm. you're crushing it. Thank you. Um, and so maybe talk about your brand when it comes to social media. What to post, what not to post, how much mm -hmm. personal, how much professional. I mean, I, I mix all of it up. My, my, my social media tag is my fabulous life, so I kind of try to show what goes on in my what I do daily in my day-to-day -day life. You know, some days I take off because some days I'm not doing much. I'm just chilling, and I think you need a even a chill day on <laughs> social media. So mm -hmm. um, some days is that, but then other than that, I just show people what I'm doing and, and the things that I'm involved in. Um, you know, advertise whatever I'm you know doing as well. Um, and, and truthfully, social media, my following has just came from me just doing that. I really, truthfully, I'm not really from the social media, internet kind of era, so my fans but you trickle don't age. through all through. He looks super young, Thank so you. no one knows that. So don't, don't yeah. give it away, just pretend. Okay. So, <laughs> yeah, so I, I, just, I just try to do what I do, and if people like it, I guess, you know, they follow and they watch it and keep tab of it. You know, because sometimes it amazes me, like, you know, that some so many people are, are following or looking at what you're doing, and, and, you know. Does your staff help you? Do you have people who help you with that, or do you do it all yourself? Yeah, I think I, I get help. I, I definitely, um, you know, because sometimes these social media apps and things, they change in <laughs> pretty much, So yeah. you know what I mean? So sometimes you may not keep up or know all the things that's going on with it. So, I, you know, it's always good to have help or somebody walk you through it or somebody show you something new or something that you can do that you didn't know that, that you can do. So I definitely have help in that. So do you have guidelines for your brand? Like, mm, don't post that, that's not me. Or do they just know you well enough personally? Yeah, if I post something, I think it's something that I definitely would be cool with representing or showing. I don't want to post anything that, um, it's just not me, you know what I'm saying? Because I, like I said, I, I, um, I show my show show the things that interest me and things that are even funny to me or any you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. it, it, to show all different aspects of my personality and what I'm doing, but I don't want to show anything that I'm really not about. Like some sometimes there's a lot of things now where you get to uh, they pay you for posts and stuff mm -hmm. like that, but if it's not something that I feel even comfortable standing behind, like there's no money that can pay me to just post that, you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, well, let's not say in no money, but <laughs> you know what I mean? Just, yeah. a, just a check, just waving a check in my face won't make me uh, just post something that, that, that I'm not comfortable with. So, right. you know, I try to keep it all in the fashion of stuff that's me, that's fab, that's, you know, about what I'm about. Yeah. So before we move to the new line and some of the new ventures, you know, you've been in this industry a long time. What do you think's the best been the best part for you and the worst part for you? Uh, the best part of being about this was I got to <laughs> my friend the dream right there. I got to I got to uh I got to have a career in something that I really loved young. I loved hip hop music and um before it was a profession for me or before I was able to do it on a bigger scale, it was just a hobby for me and I liked doing it. So there's not every day, you know, you're lucky if you get to really be in a profession that you love to do. There's people who go to school to be one thing and turn out to be something that nowhere near their major, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Or what they, you know, wanted to be in life. So I'm fortunate. That's what I would say was the best thing about, you know, me becoming an artist, a musician, a rapper. Thanks, Kelsey. If you want to check out more of the fabulous interview or any other great interviews with Kelsey, go to our website, thepursuit.tv.